I'm going to read a passage from Americus, Volume 1. No end to the muted dance of molecules. All is transmuted. All is muted and all cries out again, again. Endless, the wars of good and evil flips the fate, the trips of hate, nukes and faults and all failing safe in chain reactions of the final flash where white bicycles of protest still circle around. For there will be an end to the dog-faced gods in wingtip shoes and Gucci slippers and Texas boots and tin can hats and bunkers pressing buttons. For there are hopeful choices still to be chosen in the dark mines and stone wall bars and green giants of chance. The fish hooks of hope and the slows of, de of despond, the hills and the distance and the birds in the bush, the hidden streams of light and unheard melodies, the sessions of sweet silent thought, stately pleasures, dome, decreed and the happy deaths of the heart every day the cocks of clay, the feet in running shoes upon the quay. And there is no end, no end to the doors of perception still to be opened and the jet streams of life in the upper air of the spirit of man in the outer space inside us, shining transcendent into the crystal night of time in the endless silence of the soul in the long, loud tale of man, in his endless sound and fury signifying everything. The dancing continues. There is a sound of revelry by night. It's hard to imagine a world without the profound courage and the deep, deep commit conviction of a man who went all the way to court to defend Ginsburg's howl and his own right to publish it. For all of us, and for all future generations to be, to enjoy and be inspired by it. Every writer, poet, and artist to this day is indebted to Lawrence because, well, obviously it's brilliant writing, some of which we've heard here tonight that will live on forever for our spawn, 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 spawn to, to uh, enjoy, but, uh, uh, to his deep commitment of freedom of speech and press, but because he helped ensure that all our work would have a chance to find its own audience. And in the end, in the end, that's all any artist, writer can ask, to have a chance to be seen and to be read and to be heard. So I thank you, Lawrence. I've been so privileged to know you my entire life. And I salute you and I love you very much.